Hey, good morning. Welcome, everyone. Good morning. As you notice, I'm not Blaine, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm filling in for Blaine. My name's Candace, and I have my beautiful assistant today. This is Marina. Hi. And she's one of our amazing teachers here at Sewing Machines Plus. And she is definitely a serger expert, as well as a garment sewer and a seamstress and yeah. a bespoke tour tailor, tailor. <laughs> well, so tailor. you name it she can do it <laughs> yes yeah, that's who i am <laughs> that's who you, yeah so thank you so much marina for hanging out with oh, me today <laughs> so blaine as well as several of our other staff are in las vegas having a good time but they're at a big a dealer convention so hopefully we'll be bringing you all kinds of new things in uh the upcoming year so uh, we look forward to seeing what they have for us when they get back so hey good morning everybody donna good morning everyone um yeah chime in and let us know where you are from i saw somebody that said crisis in idaho what's yeah. going on in idaho i pretty much stopped watching the news yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> the news is just yeah. all bad all take a time. break at least <laughs> we need to take a break <laughs> yeah the news is rough yeah well today we are talking about two of my favorite things, and that is sergers. Yeah, actually, that's my favorite things too. Yeah, oh, Marina really and I love yeah. sergers. Um, we're both serger teachers, and I don't know what I did before a serger. Uh, yeah, I don't know how people survive without sergers. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody can survive. <laughs> yeah. You can't survive without yeah. a serger. You gotta have one. Yeah, at least one. At least one. <laughs> I have two now, so yeah. Um, but before we get started, let's talk about some things going on here at Sewing Machines Plus. And we have a couple of virtual events coming up that we definitely want to tell you about uh, so that you can jump on with us and uh, do some of our virtual events. So we have Hoop Fest coming. So a lot of you participated in Quilt Fest. It's uh, Hoop Fest is all about embroidery. Yay! That's another favorite topic. Oh, yeah. uh, Marina's our current <laughs> embroidery teacher. Oh, love it. So we love embroidery. This is a whole week of everything embroidery. And embroidery, if you're Blaine, I, I don't know. He's He's got that accent when he says yeah. embro embroidery. embroidery. Yeah. It's a hard word, right? Em and an embroiderer, uh -huh. if you're an embroiderer. But we have a full week. It is June 13th through 17th. So get out your calendar. Mark the dates and uh, we'll be streaming live um, from eight o'clock in the morning till four o'clock in the afternoon Pacific time. We'll have uh, industry experts showing you the latest and greatest in um, embroidery product, software, uh, designs, techniques, tools, tools. And then we have some education segments. Um, to help you maybe with positioning, um, aligning, aligning yeah. stabilizing uh, techniques, all about stabilizers. Oh, and, you know, oh. you don't want to miss this. So, again, mark your calendar. And giveaways. And, oh, the giveaways. giveaways. <laughs> <laughs> again, we have a huge prize. Yes. Like our quilt fest. Mm -hmm. We have, is it a $50,000? Uh, we're still working we're on, still that. Working so, on yeah, that. Okay. Out the details. I think it should be two or three twenty thousand yeah. dollars or ten thousand. <laughs> I want more people to win. Let us know in the comments what you think. Yeah. So Thanks. Roger says, let us know in the comments what do you think the giveaway should be this year. I think more winners. Uh, yeah. You know, it's but better. that's just me. <laughs> I want more people to win. Yeah. But every day on these festivals, we do have winners. Um, if you log on and you share and you comment, we have daily winners and then we have the big grand prize winner. And you need to comment at least once. You don't need to comment all day long. But at least at once. At least once. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so to submit. Yeah. we can also, if you have something you would like to submit for our um, contest, we're having an embroidery contest. So there is all the submission information on our website and you can actually see last year's winners. So let's scroll down. I think we have last year's winners up on this page. So there they are. Some of our winners from last year um, that won the, um, the contest for the um, embroidery. So you can submit all different types of embroidery projects mm -hmm. and all the information's on the website. 
are we going to have a like a different category categories, categories or it's going to be i am not anything? sure what does it say up there roger is I there believe, i believe we're having two categories two but we're still thinking uh, hammering, that hammering out, out. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. so probably two categories a lot of times we'll do like you know garment and clothing mm -hmm. or we'll do like home deck or quilts or something like that i know it is Awesome. Two categories, but go ahead and find that amazing project that you've done mm -hmm. and you just take pictures and, and submit them. So that is all about Hoop Fest. We will continue to talk about it um, up until up until the very date. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Submissions are until May 28th. Okay. Mm -hmm. May 28th, you have uh, until, until May 28th to submit your project. And then we can vote and uh, then we'll open up the channel for voting and uh, you'll be able to vote, I think, once a day for your favorite project. Yes. Up to, until June 12th. Until June 12th. So June 12th, awesome. the day before. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. So that's, that's amazing. the cutoff. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Awesome. So let's talk about one other thing going on and that is Scan and Cut University. So I have a perfect helper here today, Marina. Oh. <laughs> She's also the Scan and Cut teacher, and you love oh, your Scan uh, and Cut. Yes, it's such a great tool to add, you know, to spark your projects. You can do, you know, something separately on the Scan and Cut, or you can implement Scan and Cut into your entire project. Yeah, you could do applique, yeah, you can do... Yeah. And what um, I love the best about the scan cut, you can cut the vinyl, heat transfer vinyl, and put it on the T-shirt because this is the most trendy, the most stylish, you know, trend thing right now. <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah, is heat transfer heat vinyl, transfer vinyl. On, oh my God. on your garment? Yeah, yeah. Yes, and you just, can make your own, customize mm -hmm. everything. So Absolutely. this event is October thirteenth through fifteenth. We've got industry experts uh, going to teach you all about using your scan and cut. And so um, I believe this is for the DX machines. So um, I believe you need to have a DX machine uh, to participate, but go onto our website, check it all out. We'll talk a whole lot more about this event in the upcoming months. Um, I don't know if seating's limited, but if you want to jump on, jump in there, um, you know, I would sign up right away. Okay. So that's two things virtually going on with Sewing Machines Plus. But today, what we're featuring is what's called Baby Lock um, Surge for the Cure. Oh, wrong one there, Roger. There you go. <laughs> so every month is some, some project, right? We have crafting month, quilting month. Well, April is surging month. So it's National Surging Month, and Baby Lock is doing this special charity where if you purchase one of these machines in the month of April, they will donate to your choice of these charities. So you can go on to our website. If you uh, purchase a machine, you can tell them which charity you would like them to uh, donate to. And so depending on which machine you buy, they will donate a certain amount of um, the price of the machine to this charity. So that's a really great um, yes. thing that Baby Lock is doing. Awesome. You know, every year they try to do something special. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so this year, of course, they're uh, allowing us to pick which charity we want to donate to. So Baby Lock is such a great company. And let's talk just a little bit more about Baby Lock and why would you choose a Baby Lock? So, um, yeah, <laughs> we'll go back to us. <laughs> so, you know, Baby Lock has been around for many, many years. Many years. And if you didn't know it, Baby Lock was one of the first ones to introduce this serger to the home sewist. You know, they were in the, you know, garment industry and the professional industry for many years. And then they brought the serger to the industry. Of course, it didn't look like this. Oh, yeah. I think it was a little, yeah. a little uh, <laughs> less fancy, um, but they were one of the first. And then they were also the first ones to have the patent on air threading technology. 
And that really changed the game for surging because manual threading is no fun. It's okay, <laughs> but it's not fun. It's yeah. not fun. Yeah. <laughs> so they um, had the patent on air threading. And just, a, I think, two or three years ago, that patent ran out. And then now you see air threading on many other yeah. um, brands, machine brands. Yeah. Uh, but Baby Lock was the first. So if you want the original and the best, you know, you're going to want to go with a Baby Lock. Their quality is amazing. And what you get with a serger is a professional looking result. No matter what you do, if it's garments, if it's home deck, okay. if it's quilting, Whatever you use your serger for, it is going to look professional. Mm -hmm, exactly. Actually, I give up my professional uh, serger and I bought the baby lock serger, and it just works perfectly mm -hmm. for me. I mean, for my clients, my clients just you know mm -hmm. so thankful that you know I mean the quality, the professional quality, you know, who so they know the difference between homemade quality and professionally made quality. Mm -hmm. And this time, these days, you can actually achieve professional quality at home. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely what you get yeah. with a serger. Yeah. Um, what a serger does, if you're not familiar with a serger, it cuts, sews, and overlocks the edges all at one uh, pass, you know, all at the same time. And it's fast, it's easy, and very efficient. So that's kind of why we love sergers. So I sew a lot of knits, but Marina, you sew also, she made her dress that she's wearing. Um, and everything made or using my serger. Yeah, even this can, ruffle. You can yeah. make the entire thing with yeah. a serger. I'm going to talk about it later. Uh, and it's got a rolled, <laughs> a, rolled, a rolled hem. hem detail yeah. on the edge work. Yeah. Um, but You're going to show. it's great to use for both knits and wovens. So a lot of times we think of sergers just for knits, but no, wovens, no. it's really great. Silk fabric, organza, chiffon, everything. You can name it. So a lot of those challenging, challenging fabrics, exactly. they don't work on your yeah. sewing machine. Two ways stretching it, four mm -hmm. ways stretching it, etc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I saw a comment too on any type of athletic wear. If you yeah. want to make your own athletic wear, you need a serger. That yeah. That's not going to work on your sewing machine very mm -mm, well. Mm -mm. <laughs> so I have. Oh, we'll we'll start showing you a couple samples. I have. Um, these are workout. So cute. Pants. I think. I think they still fit because, man, they stretch. <laughs> <laughs> you really, really good stretch, right? Yeah. This is a ponty. And so if you have something this stretchy, you've got to have a surgery. Yeah. yeah because right. you don't want the seam of your pants mm -hmm. popping mm -hmm. from a sewing machine. You know, you need that four thread overlock secure stitch that is going to maintain a stretch and maintain the seam. Yes, because the stitch actually flex with the fabric. Mm -hmm. It, because if you use just a uh, regular sewing machine, I mean domestic sewing machine, it does not. This, you know, this yep. stitch it doesn't stretch. Mm -hmm. If you use the serger, the stitch actually stretches, so it flex with the fabric. Mm -hmm. That's the concept of yeah, and that's the that's what it's meant to do. It's mm -hmm. meant to stretch. The the yeah, stitch yeah. Um, is inherent to yeah. stretch. Yes, and the fabric doesn't um, kind of like pull the stitch, not pulling up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of the stretchness. Yeah, I've done yeah. that on a sewing machine oh, and you yeah. pull it and yeah. all, the, all the threads yeah. break. I think everyone <laughs> tried to do that, but it's not. It's not such a good quality. Yeah. And yeah. then for something like this, for garment sewing, so we have two different sergers. This is our Celebrate. This is a four thread overlock serger only. So this is a great machine. It's got four threads. And then this one is the Accolade. It actually has an eight thread. It's two machines in one. Combo machine. It's a combination machine. So mm -hmm. it's a serger and a cover stitch. And so what a cover stitch does is hemming. Think of it as sewing on the top of your fabric. So anytime you want to do something like I did the pockets, you know, they needed a hem. Um, any type of Neckline, mm -hmm. sleeves, uh, t-shirt hem, t-shirt like. hems. Yep. You need a Save hem. Hem. Yep. That's the cover hem. So these are these are joggers, cute little joggers. I, love this I know. I love this. Fabric. <laughs> yeah. And I put the pocket in, but the pocket has to be top stitched. So that is all done with a cover hem, and then it's constructed and put together with a serger. So if you're doing any type of garment work, you really need both. 
you yeah, really you need a combination machine. A professional look like nobody would tell you that you made it. No way. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, it's good to sometimes it's good to hear like, oh, oh, I made it. Oh, good job. But no, that's a different concept. Like I would say that like, nobody <laughs> even noticed that you made it. Because Usually, if they wanted. said, "Oh, did you make that?" Yeah, they're like, like, "I can uh, tell." Uh, yeah, but this is a totally different <laughs> concept. Totally different attitude. It's like, "Wow, that's amazing! Yeah, you made you that. Did it? Yeah, you yes, made that. I made it." Yeah. So, you know, if you want, like I said, professional mm -hmm. looking, can you, you know, what's the difference with these two garments? This one has a tag, so it came from the store. <laughs> but if you look at the construction, even in your ready-made garments. If you look at the construction, it, all of them are surged. Almost, this is woven. Mm -hmm. It's still surged. So a lot of garments in the industry use a what's called a safety stitch. It's a three-thread overlock with a safety stitch, and that's achieved with a combination machine. Um, so you actually don't need to sew it on the sewing machine and then go and surge the edge. You can do all at once. You, mm -hmm. come, you connect two pieces running it through the serger and yeah. so this type of a garment was done with a sewing machine and a serger mm -hmm. and a lot of times that's what we do we use the serger to complement our sewing machine but having that safety stitch you don't need to use the mm -hmm. sewing machine you can do everything at once like on the inside of your jeans yes. is um that safety stitch exactly and like like i believe this dress i made the same way so i just like my shoulder seam i just use my serger with the safety stitch in the middle mm -hmm. which actually like a two stitches at once and you can only do that with a combo machine mm -hmm. you can't do that with two separate machines yeah. so there's a benefit for oh. buying a machine um that's a combination so um, we're going to kind of talk of a few more things and then we'll get started. So we had um, some other things that you can do with sergers. Aren't these fun? This was a, a class we did. Marina did these. Three years ago. Three years I ago. I just yesterday. <laughs> time flies. Yeah, time flies. We can actually put a zipper in yeah. on a serger. And a vinyl. And Clear work, vinyl. work with vinyl. Mm -hmm. um, we have a, a piping foot, a cording foot that we use to do zippers. Um, we do have a ruffling foot. We have a piping foot. You can do all kinds of things with some of the different feet. And, um, you know, not this is not garments. It's, you know, fun little projects mm -hmm. for class. Um, that one's really fun. This is another one that Marina taught. Funny. That was a class two. This was a class two about adding all sorts of ribbon and lace and sequence and, and then overlocking with decorative thread. Actually, you know, we did, um, mm -hmm. to, uh, we not just overlocked, we actually add the lace. this lace and mm -hmm. overlock the edge all at once. So I know we don't have the camera to do close-ups, um, but we'll show you some, a couple other things as we do some demos. Mm -hmm. So that one's another really great one. Another thing that a serger can do is work with decorative threads. So this is another one we did all on the serger, working with all kinds of decorative threads. So the loopers of a serger, um, are the eye is big and fat. So you can use all kinds of woolly nylon, decorative threads, thick threads, eight weight, 12 weight, I mean, even yarns mm -hmm. and, and string and all kinds of stuff yeah. you can do. So it's not just for, you know, like sewing. sewing. Yeah. You can just do all sorts of things. And then with a cover stitch machine, we can do what's called chain stitching. And we'll show you that it is actually quilting with a single needle and one looper. And it kind of looks like a sewing so stitch, stitch. Uh -huh. but it has a real cool detail on on the backside mm -hmm. if you mm -hmm. use uh decorative, decorative thread, thread. Mm -hmm. so you know there's a lot of fun things we can do a serger. with a serger that you yeah. just can't do with another <laughs> another machine there's no other machine out there that can do these things so this is something i made with my embroidery machine and then i did the edges with what's called a wave stitch now a wave stitch is on this machine and it's exclusive to baby lock. No other machine has it. So if you call up and you order, you're like, Hey, I want that wave stitch. It's only on the baby locks. It's only on specific machines. But what it does is it waves 
um, the edge work. And I'll show you this up close on the camera. So here I'm using my embroidery machine to do this cute little project. I know, isn't this adorable? Yes, my granddaughter is yeah. way grown out of this, yeah. but it was fun <laughs> when she was little. And then I was able to do all the edge work with my serger. Mm -hmm. So definitely it's a, it's a machine that can enhance all your other machines that you have. So what else do we want to talk about? Anything else we want to get started yes, showing you some demos? Awesome. I think yes, we're ready. Okay. So we're going to first show you the Baby Lock Celebrate. This is a serger only. It has jet air threading. That means that I am pushing a button to thread the loopers. And if anybody has a manual threading machine, you're going to be amazed. This machine is so great. It also has what's called twin cam um, tension. So even though it's manual tension, I adjust each one of my threads. It has built-in technology that allows it to, to provide me with the correct amount of thread delivery system so that I get a beautiful stitch no matter what thread, no matter what fabric. So it's not just a manual serger. It has built-in technology that makes sewing any fabric any project, any thread, you know, it gives you a beautiful stitch every time. Um, it also has a really nice height adjustment. You know, the, the, it lifts up pretty high. It's a six millimeter lift. There's some sergers out there that just don't lift up. Mm -hmm. And so you can't do thick, heavy projects. Plus what I like about this one, because you can kind of pick up the presser foot. Mm -hmm. So it adds a little bit more height. A little more height. Little height. Yeah. Because... Mm -hmm. I like sewing sweater knits, mm -hmm. but even fleece or minky, you don't want to use your sewing machine for those. You definitely want to use yeah. a serger yeah. on that type of fabric because it stretches and it makes a mess. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> minky is, yeah. is so much fun. It's we yeah. we have Cuddle here in our yeah. store, which is yeah. a really nice product. Yeah. But anyway, it this really has a lot of built-in technology. And what I like to say is I think of these machines as a car, right? You know, any car has four wheels and it will get you where you want to go. But you can't compare every car on the market to, you know, they're not comparable. Yeah. I can't compare a Volkswagen to a Mercedes, right? I, I just, you're not going to get the same quality. You're not going to get all the same bells and whistles. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of how you buy machines. Every machine has different features that are going to make your ride so much better, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You're going to get there in style. You're going to, yeah. you're going to have your heated seats and your, you know, power windows and your Bluetooth. That's with these um, upper level machines. Kind of luxury. Luxury. I like that. Luxury. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they just make, they make the process enjoyable. Oh yeah. Yeah. When uh, I switched to the baby lock soldier, uh, <laughs> well, first I spent less time on finishing my project because I do mm -hmm. spend less time when I thread my serger mm -hmm. having this technology, either, you know, the air threading or the, you know, the... Well, and you sew, you sew for a living, so time yes. is money yes. for you. And, you know, yeah. even if you don't sew for a living, like if you have mm -hmm. like two hours to work on the mm -hmm. project, better to spend this time on sewing rather than rather threading, than threading exactly. right? That's my attitude, yeah. right? Absolutely. Yeah. I had a manual threader. And I, I struggled, I struggled years. with it. Yeah. Every time I put another fabric in it, I had to adjust it. And I just, I never got it right. Yeah. Actually, I was proud of myself saying like, hey, I can thread my manual soldier with mm -hmm. closed eyes. And I was proud you could, of myself. Yeah. But now I don't even need to say that. I would rather say, hey, I finished this project within like, you know, two days, mm -hmm. not just like a week. Yeah. Right. So it's fast, easy, easy. And again, and it's luxury. Now, when you luxury. push this button to thread, it's like, whoo. Luxury. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to come around and we're going to do a quick demo on our try, our um, celebrate. Uh, celebrate. So I'm going to move around here. We're going to move this a little bit. Let me see. And we'll switch cameras yep. for me being in your way. All right, so let's. How's that looking, Roger? Is that good? Looks good. Looks good. Okay. Yep. Yo. We, did, we did get a comment saying that they can't hear you. Me? Uh, can, yeah. Oh. Just a little louder. Oh, okay. Maybe I need to. 
Well, okay, I'm really uh, loud. And yeah, you're maybe. Not. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm naturally not that loud speaker. How about right now? It's Hello, good. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Marina, soft spoken. I'm like super yeah. loud. Yeah. So I'm going to show you the air threading technology. I've already threaded my upper looper. We have some fun decorative thread in my upper looper that we're going to play with. But I'm going to show you um, threading the uh, lower looper. And the process is the same. So I hold in the knob and I turn my hand wheel. These tubes lock. So now my machine is locked. I can't move it. So I have a knob here. It says U and L, L for lower looper. And all I am going to do is put a little bit of thread down into my lower looper and, and hit the button. And it is just going to thread itself. And everybody knows that lower looper is kind of a pain. And there it is. Popped out. Okay, that was two seconds. Two seconds. Did, do you yeah, want me to yeah. show you again? It was Please. so fast. <laughs> it was awesome. so fast. Yeah, do it again. Do it again. Yeah, okay. So I struggle with the, with those manual machines. Oh, yeah. It just takes forever, even if you're fast. See, so all you're going to do charged. is yeah. thread it. And there it is. It just like poof just came right awesome. out of the Love eye of the it. lower looper. Love it. And then the rest of the machine is threaded the exact same way. The upper looper, you do exact this, exactly the same way. And the nice thing is about this, it doesn't matter what order you thread it in. You can thread it in any order. Um, if, if, a, if a thread breaks or if I want to change a thread, I don't have to rethread the whole thing. All I have to do is work on the one thread I want to uh, work with. Now, these are the needle threads, and they thread just like a sewing machine. This does have a needle threader. So, um, sorry, I line up my tubes. This does yep. have a needle threader we can use, but for time's sake, we just um, went ahead and threaded it. I have my stitch length down here, which includes standard and rolled hem. So easy for me to adjust this to a rolled hem um, with just a few different uh, settings. I have my cutting width right here. This moves my knife. So I can play with my cutting width, not a ton, but just a little bit to give me that perfect stitch. We have what's called full differential feed, and I'll show you that. There's two independent dependent sets of feed dogs. So this controls the way your fabric is being fed through your machine. Okay, but I have a question. Um, mm -hmm. I thought there were a recommended order to thread. Not on a air threader. Good. For standard machines, yes. You always have to thread the upper looper, then the lower looper, and then the needles. But with a air threader, it doesn't matter what yeah. order. Speaking about myself, since I developed my habit like of, you know, threading the serger, you know, many years ago, I have my own system. I prefer to thread any kind of serger. Whenever I'm teaching mm -hmm. the class or I'm demoing something, I thread it from the right, right to the to left. The left. Yeah. Same with the needles. Me too. It just works for me. So this kind of like, it just kind of automatic movement. Right. So like if you if you like to do this way, you can do it, but the actually instruction says you can do it in any order, right? Any order. Any yep. order. All right. So I'm just going to grab just some standard fabric. Let's test this out. Very nice. And I can adjust my width and my length. Um, Right here, it's just, everything's easy. I don't have to open anything to get to anything. It does have a thread uh, trimmer in the back. Um, and there you go. I've got this cute little stitch that's using this really pretty decorative um, thread. So, so like I've got- kind of metallic spark. Yeah, it's like a sparkle, sparkle green metallic. sparkle thread. And I put, you know, really bright thread in here just so that you could see. Uh, the different threads. So super easy to use. It's easy to do any kind of construction. And the nice thing is, is it doesn't matter, like I said, what kind of fabric I put in here, it's going to work, right? This is fleece. Oops. Let's lift that up, lift it up. and give me a longer stitch.
So again, it's a beautiful stitch. So what and does it doesn't it, matter. So it, what does it mean? So like jumping from the you know, kind of you know medium weight cotton to heavy thick fleece. And now I'm doing problem. denim. Denim. This is two layers of denim. So it needs consistency, consistent quality, stitch quality. Yeah, it's consistently consistency. great. Yep. And like I said, it cuts. Overlocks and sews all at once, and and then it gives you a beautiful mm -hmm. stitch. Mm -hmm. So one thing that we sew a lot of is let's say this is a neck band, right? So we use clips with sergers. I don't use um, pins, and of course I have this decorative thread in here, but we're going to do it anyway because this is just for fun. Okay, it is for fun, and. I just keep an eye on my project where I can see all of my um, <laughs> all of my fabric, fabric. Right, I've got three pieces of fabric here. Yeah. And if any of you have sergers at home, you know it's all about how you hold your your thread. I also do like to trim a little bit because I make sure I am feeding enough fabric in there. <clears throat> and yes, so we have a question. Mm -hmm. Do all surgery trim, do you need to accommodate the uh, okay, seam allowance to the width? Yes. yes. So seam allowance, this is a whole nother topic. <laughs> yeah, but actually, no, I do not adjust the seam allowance. Okay, mm -hmm. I know where should be my stitch line mm -hmm. be, and I just mm -hmm. run the surgery mm -hmm. next to that stitch line. Right. And actually, the knife will cut all... Yeah you know, the extra seam, extra allowance. seam allowance. So on yeah. every serger on the tip of the foot is this little raised notches. And that is where the needles are mm -hmm. going to hit. If yeah. you have a left needle in that is going to be needs to go on your stitch line. Mm -hmm. You know, as long as you're going to mark your fabric, figure out, you know, where you need to, how far over you need to put your fabric in order to hit your stitch line. So you would mark your fabric, you would test it, making sure that that left needle hits your stitching line. And then you don't matter what it cuts off. Okay, another question. Mm -hmm. Does anybody know if serger fit one uh, interchangeable with the same serger brands? Um, baby lock feet, there's two different types of baby, actually three. This uh, size machine, as well as the Imagine, the victory i think two or three others can all interchange feet the eight lock the eight thread baby lock sergers can interchange the feet yeah. the, like um, the triumph. Yeah, yeah the uh victory no what's the smallest one vibrant vibrant they have their own feet mm -hmm. Yeah, so, but mm, mm, our suggestion would be whenever you want to choose switch, I mean, if you have feet from another surgery in your sewing room, please uh, uh, read the marking on the, mm -hmm. you know, the digits that that foot has to have on the back or on the side and mm -hmm. try to Google it. Or you yeah. can call the store in mm -hmm. a sewing machine class store and just ask this question. So, you know, if you have um, a smaller machine and you're going to upgrade, um, you may have to change out the feet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you something that, that sergers do that we love, and that's ruffle. If you've ever tried to ruffle something on your sewing machine, it's such a pain, right? You only have like a four stitch length, and then you got to pull the threads. This one has what's called differential feed. So what that means is that front feed dog is going to feed uh, twice as fast, or it takes the space twice as much length. Mm -hmm. I just say twice as fast. Twice it's twice. E it's yeah, easier exactly. to understand. Exactly. <laughs> I put my stitch length to four and this will actually ruffle my fabric as it stitches. And there it goes. And what is nice about this ruffle, so you can adjust the um, tension the gather. the gather so you can make it and there you go i've yeah. got a i've got a ruffle if i need to gather it more uh -huh. i'm going to come in here and pull out one, one of the thread. needle threads yeah and just pull it and then i can just you pull can, it and you can gather even more and make it even more gathered so and just pull on it make yeah. it tighter yeah. so and then awesome. it's it's really a great way to gather 
it gives you a consistent gather, which is really hard to do manually. Manual, yes. This has a foot that you can get that will gather a gather piece to a non-gather mm -hmm. piece. Like if you want to mm -hmm. do a ruffle a or ruffle. something like that, it, mm -hmm. it's it's amazing. Okay, yes. We have a pretty good question here from okay. Maya from the surgery. Uh -huh. uh, how often or do they need to service the knife? So this knife is made out of a um, different material than your scissors. Mm -hmm. So it will last a very long time depending on the fabric you're using and the threads you're using. So if you're just using natural cottons and knits and stuff like that, you can go years and exactly. years without changing your knife. I haven't changed my knife like four, four I years. I just changed well. my knife on my Triumph. See? And so that was mm -hmm. probably four or five years. Oh, same. Yeah, like a little bit longer yeah. than mine. Yeah. So they last mm -hmm. a very yeah. long time. You do get a, a blade with your machine, mm -hmm. an extra, extra, blade, extra blade. But we do recommend coming in and mm -hmm. having it serviced. Mm -hmm cleaned and change your blade um, it's a pretty easy process but uh you know we do recommend the service techs do that um, and we recommend coming in once a year for service mm -hmm. yeah plus can i add my mm -hmm. two pennies absolutely <laughs> that's why yeah, you're here so when i teach a uh, surgery classes i always try to teach mm -hmm. my students to proper feed the fabric yes. so this way you prolong the life of your knife so don't push too hard towards mm -hmm. the you know knife or presser foot yeah. and don't pull the fabric mm -hmm. from the back so this way it mm -hmm. does help yeah when you're surging you're you're just kind of holding your fabric here yeah because this and you're feeding a, it yeah it has really great feeding system you don't need to uh -uh. hold uh -uh. And, like uh -uh. we do on a sewing machine. Yes, <laughs> I've seen it yes. really often. You're I've just kind of holding it. it. You're guiding it. Guiding. That's that's all cool. you're doing. You're guiding. just guiding it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though, like on this neck band, right? Mm -hmm. So since because you need to manage. Okay, where's the camera? Here we go. So mm -hmm. you need to manage like three layers of fabric. Yeah. Still, you not pulling. You yeah, just you're just guiding. guiding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna turn this into a rolled hem real quick. And I go in here into my rolled hem setting. I tighten my lower looper. I have to memorize the settings. I think that's yeah. close. <laughs> and a rolled hem is normally well done one. on one edge, right? It's an edge process. And if you use decorative thread, it looks really, really pretty to do a rolled hem. So grab that pillow down there. Mm -hmm. So this pillow was done with heavy um, woolly nylon type thread and a rolled hem. So you can do all kinds of really nice decorative work with a rolled hem, um, as well as use it for garments. And my ruffles. And my All your dress. ruffles. <laughs> we'll have to get Marina close to the camera so you can see her pretty ruffles. Can I, can I zoom? Can zoom in. Nope. Oh, 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 oh. Which way? Let's see. Sorry. Here we go. Ooh, okay. There we go. These are all really pretty ruffles. Yeah, and this is really light chiffon. So chiffon is chiffon. hard so to work see with. How good. Okay, can I focus? Maybe. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I got it. Oh, awesome. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. So that is a, it's a little bit thicker rolled hem because I've got my other needle in. Normally I would only do three needles on a rolled hem, but I didn't want to take it out. So it, I can do all kinds of various stitches. All I did was adjust my tensions. Normally, like I said, for a rolled hem, I'd go ahead and take out my left needle and then it will really, really wrap. This one I just kind of folded. It's kind of more of a flat mm -hmm. edge work. But you can play with the settings mm -hmm. and make it narrow or wider. Mm -hmm. And we do have a question yes. about that. Do we need to, um, what was the question like? The, uh, exact but okay the idea was the question was about do we need to do a lot of adjustment to jump from the no so it's actually like just one we have a dial so what what yeah. you're gonna do is you're gonna take out your left needle uh -huh. and you can see i left it threaded sometimes it's easier 
I like it too. To yeah. grab your needle. And I have this handy dandy little uh, pouch right here, this hidden compartment, <laughs> we call it, right? Um, secret storage. Secret compartment, yeah. <laughs> and then um, now all I have is a three thread overlock. <laughs> I changed this to rolled hem. You can see down here it says rolled hem. And a rolled hem, we usually do a like a one, a very thin, uh, close together stitches. And it's really easy to remember because mm -hmm. it has actually the marking on this mm -hmm. sword. It has rolled hem. Yeah. You can and see then it. Um, I tighten my looper. So that's a seven. And then I release some tension on my upper looper and my needle. So those are about a three. And you get a book that comes with it that tells you all the settings. Uh -huh. Um, so it's not it's not hard and then rolled hems you can do them with or without the knife like on chiffon I would do it without the knife you know because chiffon yes. yeah. it gives you all mm -hmm. those little mm -hmm. fuzzies if you yes. cut them I always put the knife down yeah, yeah. so you can lock mm -hmm. the knife right here super easy some machines you got to open mm -hmm. the whole thing yeah mm -hmm. this one I can lock the knife and then I just kind of feed it in there where um, I'm, where the knife would be on the edge. Yes, it will look really nice. We have a comment that it looks really nice on mm -hmm. towels and on napkins. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do the really Oops. narrow uh, double fold on the napkins. You can just yeah. go with the rolled hem. So now there's a proper oh, rolled yeah, hem. Exactly. Yeah. Now, if I was really doing this, of course, I would use green, green thread. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, I wouldn't use the bright orange, but you know, we just did that so you could see. Yeah. Um, Looks great. And grab the um, that pillow. That one. That, yeah. So we're talking about the. Um, this machine does not do a wave rolled hem, but this other machine does. And so this is what a wave rolled hem looks like. It's alternating. So pretty. Um, the upper looper and lower looper. And like I said, that's unique for a baby lock machine. The Accolade does it, uh, but the Celebrate does not. So you basically put two threads, mm -hmm. white and blue for your upper, upper looper, looper and lower, lower looper. looper. Yeah. And it makes this beautiful decorative. And I did this to the edge of a quilt one yeah. time, oh, you know? I like it. Um, yeah. Baby bibs, mm -hmm. towels, napkins. There's so many applications. So many There's applications so many. for that. All right, so what I'm going to do, if we still have a few more questions, I'll let uh, Marina kind of answer it. some questions. This is beautiful, pretty pillow. I cannot get over how cute that baby boot is. Oh, yes. I know, that's adorable. <laughs> so I'm going to switch these two machines. Okay, wow, gorgeous. No, no more questions yet. All right. Just um, exclamation so marks. <laughs> so move that one over here. Oh, uh-huh, go ahead. Do you have a question regarding Yes. Spark uh, Okay. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Decorative if threads. About this. Yeah. So this is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Twelve weight count. Twelve. So that's but the... eight weight is amazing. Yes. Uh, there's woolly nylon. There's poly yarns. There's tons. The only of threads. The only thing about woolly nylon, you need to um carefully pump it through the you have to use um a special, special technique, technique to thread it through yeah. the air threaders it's not a difficult technique at all yeah it's real easy i'm trying just to say it's not just like no you just yeah. need to well you have a wire that yeah. comes with your mm -hmm. machine and so you manually thread heavy threads through an air threader but that's also okay mm -hmm. it's not like really complicated technique it's, it's just two more steps to mm -hmm. thread your fancy thread and the yeah. last question for the mm -hmm. uh, does it have a wave? No. no. So on the front, you, I don't know if you can see it, it says wave overlock. So only these machines that say wave. Okay, wave is only for the combo because in order to mm -hmm. make wave, you need to have a cover hem or you just, just need the technology. The technology. Yeah. So there the is the, how the loopers go. There's goes. an imagine that has the wave. There's okay. Three or four other machines that have the wave, but so it says celebrate. wave on here. Celebrate, celebrate does not. Have. Remember, we were talking about a car and the features. <laughs> yes, you're right. <laughs> so, you know, if you want that feature, you're going to, you know, 
pay a little more for that feature invest investment yeah you're going to invest a little a more, little more. <laughs> and um have that feature so i'm going to talk to you a little bit about the accolade now the accolade does every single thing that the celebrate does but the threading system's a little bit um i i like it a little bit more it uses a different technology i just put it down to threading and i lock my tubes and then it uses a button to thread. Now this is a combination machine. So I have an upper looper, lower looper, and a chain looper. So I have this set up to chain stitch so that we can show you just some of that technology of chain stitching. So I converted this machine to a, to a cover stitch. It was a serger, I just converted it. So I put my table on, I'll put it back to serging. And now I have a cover stitch machine. That's not so difficult to remove the table though. I think I saw the question. Which fabric back there? Which one? Oh, right no, okay, I see it. So let me show you a couple things with a chain stitch or a, um, a cover stitch. So this can do four threads, three threads, or two threads. Um, yes, thank you. Right now we have it set up for a cover hem narrow. That's 99% of what I use when I hem yes, something. I, same, same way. Yeah, mm -hmm. I really rarely use the wide. I, yeah, I don't use the wide very mm -hmm. often. So you can see I am sewing on the top of my fabric. There's no knife, nothing, nothing in here. I have this table, so I'm sewing on the top of my fabric so this way you need to hem before you need mm -hmm. to fold your hem before yeah. you stitch so this if you did it perfectly i'm just showing you the stitch but the idea is if you do a hem is to cover the hem and i don't know if i can do it perfectly we use um an, an adhesive tape mm -hmm. so that this doesn't move yeah when we go to hem, but as you see, I can do three needles and do a triple stitch. I can do two needles, narrow or wide. It just depends on where I put my needles. Grab these um, joggers. Pants? Mm -hmm. yeah, I see, I, I see. Um, so let's see how well I did. <laughs> on camera you know oh i did oh, i did brutal. not so good but normally what you would do is that zigzag would actually cover that hem um it's more important just to get it even and straight in my book but as you can see that's what we're doing we're hemming so on the back side is this kind of zigzag um it's it's almost like a twin needle a little bit different than a twin needle but it's similar and what it does, I used it on these pockets as um, decoration. So here, it's I did it on the reverse side. So it's it's also used for a decorative stitch. So I could have done it where I'm just hemming. Um, probably the shirt. I don't think we can see it on yeah. there. It's, this one you can't it's, it's see. Dark. It's like it's dark. black on black, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> so here, this is all hemmed. So that's all with a double needle and it's hemmed and then it's constructed with the serger. So both machines are needed for that type of work. So the other really fun thing that this machine can do is called chain stitching. So I'm gonna show you that too. Any questions as we're going along? Oh, it's reverse car stitch is a really great, it's such a great idea. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's really that, it's and I would do cool. a reverse twin. Green, yeah. Three needles. Twin, three needles. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it gives such a cool look. Like you see it in athletic wear all the time. And in a good quality athletic wear. Yeah. Really good quality athletic yeah. wear shows you that stitch. Yeah. That, um, and you can achieve it at home once again. Yeah. You can do it just. Well, I'm demoing cotton, cotton, and um, I do have some um, knit. Knit. 
Mm -hmm. This so one fun? is French cherry. Mm -hmm. And um, it's it's got loops on the back. This is garment French cherry. Mm -hmm. And then this is just a, a regular knit, um, I would say, uh, it's a, it's sweater a knit. Sweater knit, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not the bamboo, right? It's just a regular bamboo. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. Can you read it? Oh, which one? Okay, do you, do you need special mm -hmm. needles for the cover stitch? No, no, no. Use, 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 use uh, for the cover stitch, mm -hmm. uh, for the cover hem part of this sort. You don't need to use a special needles. Same sewing needles, same regular needles. Okay, I do recommend to use microtex needle if you're planning to sew to work with the stretchy fabric though mm -hmm. and actually this is my to-go needles you know i like to use microtex for almost for almost anything even your knits uh-huh mm -hmm. yeah even the knits yeah so sew, you use surgers use sewing needles where's mm -hmm. my neck that's what i'm missing sorry um the, the one i did the gray <laughs> one you took it away okay oh, so oh, i'm going to oh. show you something really cool and that is called quilting with a serger. And um, this is one needle. And again, I don't have to make any adjustments. I can make some adjustments here that affects the tension on my chain uh, thread. This affects my tension on my needle thread. But most of the time, I don't have to change much um, to do this type of work. So this is um, quilting. I'm sorry, I'm losing my foot pedal. <laughs> Happens. <laughs> and again, I'm sewing on the top of the fabric. And see how easily the machine adjusts mm -hmm. the, you know, the movement. Like because the feet system, the fitting system, it's so advanced on this soldier. So this is a really cool look. Like if I was doing this on a project, of course mm -hmm. I would use. Um, the same color thread. I'll grab that purple. Um, but what's really fun, no, uh, the blanket right there. That's fun. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> my my uh, assistant back there, yeah. she can't she can't read my mind. Which one? I'm like, why the can't blanket, she read blanket, my mind? Blanket? It's not a blanket. <laughs> it's a table it's runner. It's a table runner. It's a table runner. <laughs> so yeah. this is really cool where you can actually quilt. And I would do this, of course, with real heavy fun decorative thread but you can do all kinds of things with the cover cover stitch machine so this if we get up close oh yummy that was done with variegated threads in the chain looper mm -hmm. and this whole thing was done on the serger we pieced it together with a four thread overlock and then some of this is called uh, two thread flat locking you can do on the serger. All this quilting was done on the um, cover stitch machine. And then there's some wave stitch in here as well. So, you know, this is a really pretty table runner that was done, of course, all on a combination machine. Yeah, Kimberly, uh, I see you ask, like, you want to try Microtech. So I just want to add a little bit to that. So if you test your fabric with mm -hmm. microtex microtech needle and you don't like it try ball point needle yeah we usually use ball mm -hmm. or ball, jersey, mm, jersey for knits like jersey or ball point needle means that the point of the needle is rounded not like sharp the microtex is sharp point mm -hmm. has a sharp point but the ball point of needle has a rounded edge rounded point so this way you because needs are different you know sometimes knit, sir yeah every yeah. knit is a little bit different yeah, especially because they use a lot of um synthetic threads to add a stretchness so that's why you need to kind of play with needles and i usually do test my fabric before i actually sew it on the project always always even though you, if you try to fix something and you don't have, um, you know, same fabric in your sewing room, try to find something similar to it. Mm -hmm. At least like the weight, mm -hmm. kind of like the heavy or lightweight, or mm -hmm. the stretchness. Like mm -hmm. if it's stretched, like you can, you can stretch your t-shirt, like you know, up to the yard, and your fabric has to be your sample fabric has to be stretched kind of the same way. So this way you can pretty much get a good result on your finished project as well as on your sample. So I am sewing 
a, the, this is the band we did. And now I just did a little top stitch, but you can see it looks like a sewing machine. Oh, okay. It's just one thread, but it's actually the, the chain on the back. So you can also use that for hems. So it's actually like you top stitching. You it's just top, top stitching with the... one thread mm -hmm. or two or mm -hmm. three. So there's tons of things you can do with a serger. There's even more things you can do with a combination machine. So if you don't have one of these machines in your sewing, um, you know, universe, universe. <laughs> You know, it might be might be something that you want might want to consider. Oh, yeah. um, and and um, now is a great month to do it. So I'm going to pop back around and we'll just finish talking about a couple things. Hey, Candace, yes. Can you adjust the pressure? Yes. So there are dials on here to adjust the pressure from the foot to the fabric. So absolutely. And the thing is that most of the time you don't need to, you know, you I know, rarely, rarely, rarely ever, yep. sweater knit is mm -hmm. about the only one. Sweater knit sometimes is finicky. It doesn't yeah, want to feed. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So I use a Teflon mm -hmm. foot. Yeah, that's the And I adjust one. the pressure a little bit. Yeah, because actually if you combine the technique, not just using exactly like, you know, mm -hmm. Teflon foot and the pressure. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you mm -hmm. can adjust the pressure. And... You know, I could spend three or four hours with you guys telling you all these Maybe really cool things. More. <laughs> Probably more. Um, in fact, we have a surgery event tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and we're, we're you know, it's a two-day event because we're going to actually make something. So that's going to be really fun uh, using some Bernina sergers, which we can't sell online, but we can sell in the store. So if you are interested in one of these sergers, you know, you can come in if you're in our local area. Or, um, you know, grab one of these online. We have an amazing special deal on mm -hmm. them right now. And um, the quality of a baby lock, you just can't beat it. You know, it is, like I said, we're not combined. We're not, um, we're not saying it's, you know, Volkswagen to a Mercedes, right? You have to compare apples to apples, you know? And so when you're in a machine of this level, You've got to compare it to another machine of this level. Mm -hmm. So these are these are just amazing, and the technique and the mechanics Mechan yeah. are just going to give you a beautiful stitch every time. And I think we proved it. And it's professional it's looking. Exactly. Yeah, it's and easy. Easy. It's easy. That's the main. That's the main. So thing. another thing that's fabulous with Baby Lock that you're not going to get with anybody else is a 60 day Love of Sewing uh, membership. And what that is, is um, you register your machine with Baby Lock, and then you have access to their classes and for 60 days free. And so you can learn everything you need to know about your machine, as well as projects, um, doing different techniques. Everything is at feet. your fingertips. Yeah, you can use different feet. Using, right? if you want to get if some of the feet, feet, we have different feet packages that you can call and talk about. But this is the special for the Celebrate. It comes with this is a, a great free bundle, and that's valued almost more than the machine, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. This amazing value mm -hmm. because you're going to get that three year platinum protection warranty. We're going to throw awesome. that in. Yeah. You're going to awesome. get a um, hundred pack of needles. Again, that 60 day free trial membership I was talking about. And we do that financing. We have amazing financing through Secrety that we can give you up to 0% for 18 months. Mm -hmm. yep. I want that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're also going to throw in one of our fabulous mats. A serger definitely needs a mat. These are really fantastic mats. If you don't have a mat, you need one under every machine. Why you need that? It is going to protect your machine, the mechanics of your machine from the vibration. Mm -hmm. And it will also protect your, your furniture. And also protect your husband's ears from <laughs> noise. <laughs> it helps to cut down on the noise. Exactly. You're like, what are you doing in there? <laughs> Marina has her sewing room is on, is on the outside, it's outside right? Yes. She's it's got a... Touch. She's but got a shisha. You know, it's amazing. They can still hear sometimes, you know, my sewing machine because it's an industrial sewing machine. 
Yeah, but there is no way to hear this surgeon. Yeah, uh -uh. these are nice no, and quiet. These are nice and quiet, yeah. So this is the Celebrate. Like I said, if you have a serger and you're ready to upgrade, this is the perfect one. Or if you're brand new and you don't own a serger, this is a great machine to jump into. It's very easy to use. And you'll just be off and running in no time. So let's take a look at our Accolade. So our Accolade also has this amazing uh, bundle. And it's coming with what? 17-foot set. Holy oh, cow. That's you cool. are Gee. lucky. Oh, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> it's coming with a trolley. Trolley, yeah. So you can come wow. with the glasses. So uh -huh. it's a great way to store your machine mm -hmm. as well as transport it. I love the Tudos. Mm -hmm. I, in fact, use one every day just yeah. for my oh, your stuff, my stuff, my <laughs> computer, stuff. <laughs> yes. my teaching stuff. Love yeah, the it's sturdy. Yeah, yeah, it's a fabulous mm -hmm. trolley. Mm -hmm. And um, we also have the mat. And this one, again, you know, we have that 60-day, um, it's called So Ed. We used to call mm -hmm. it Love of Knowledge. Love of Knowledge. Okay. But you, this machine's really, you definitely, it'll be great to have that class. Yeah, because there's so much in. you can do. Yes, and you can. I really like the 60-day mm -hmm. trial because mm -hmm. you can jump in just like tomorrow. If you're really excited about making some project, you can learn actually how to make this project within mm -hmm. the next two months. It's awesome. Yeah, and this machine actually has up to like 28 different mm -hmm. stitches that you can do on this machine. Because you have eight threads. You, so have you can eight combine. Threads. So how many combinations you can make, right? So having that um, class at your fingertips mm -hmm. is is fantastic. That's worth its weight in yes, gold. Yes, exactly. Um, so agree. this is a really great deal we're doing. You know, it's over a thousand dollars off the MSRP. So again, like I said, this is two machines in one. This is a serger and a cover stitch. Mm -hmm. So you're getting two machines. It's small. It's compact. It's not going to take up a ton of room and it is pretty easy to convert Absolutely. back and forth yes. it's very easy i'm really glad that i switched to the combo machine i was worried actually i was thinking like hey it's cost more right and there is well, i don't know how often i will be using you know the cover hem machine because i didn't use that i didn't use it that much back then but once i take the decision once i take the decision and bought this machine i like there is no Use day all the time. to regret no one day that i regret about that i'm just yeah. so thankful that i made the decision and that's you know definitely something to consider yep. is that yeah. you won't regret your purchase mm -hmm. of a baby lock mm -hmm. surgery and, and having this you know mm -hmm. protection from sewing machine plus i mean mm -hmm. help so that's absolutely yeah something i love the accolade does come with this mm -hmm. handy dandy guide yeah. the celebrate does not um, but this one does. And so it's so easy. Like we were threading it. Marina's like, I haven't done this one in a while. Uh, you just look at the, look at the guide, because, figure out how to thread it. And it's super easy. Because it's like, a, I call it kindergarten diagram chart. <laughs> because it does look like a kindergarten diagram. <laughs> so easy to follow because Very it has easy. color charts. Yeah, yeah, everything's color coded. So yeah. it's really nice. So remember, April is National Surger Month. So... Baby Lock is doing that special program just till the end of the month where if you purchase a Baby Lock machine, they will do a donation to the charity of your choice. And yes, a fabulous Mother's Day gift. Oh, um, my mother would actually probably uh, love one of these. She's got yeah. an old, 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 <laughs> old singer that she singer. loves to death. But um, I think, you know, most of us live in knits. And I've converted quite a few quilters to garment sewers Yes, um, because it's so easy and it's fast. And now they go in the store and they're like, oh, I could make mm -hmm. that. I don't need to mm -hmm. buy that. Yeah. <laughs> I could make it. Yeah. So um, let's see. Yeah, it's really great. The charities are amazing that they're um, sponsoring. And, you know, what a great idea for Surger Month. So um, we are going to take just a, a minute. I'm going to kind of wrap this up. And I brought in a special guest today. So um, we're going to have her come up and talk about a brand new class we're going to do. So if you're in our local area, in the San Diego area, or if you want to take a road trip, you know, come out for the day. It's gorgeous out here. So, you know, definitely come and take a, take a class with us. Uh, we do new owners classes, but we also have some specialty classes and we're doing, um, 
a really fun project next month. And I have um, Kelly from uh, Quilters Paradise. She's going to come and just talk to us uh, for a minute about her uh, brand new project. So I'm going to show you and then, and then we'll do giveaways. So I'm keeping you guys on the line. So you have to, you have to listen to us for a few more minutes. But if any of you are quilters, so many quilters tell me, I don't want to do curves. They're so difficult. You can actually quilt with a serger. Oh, by the way, but this is the project we're going to be working on for, uh, of course, for 4th of July and see all these curves. We use this amazing, um, it's called a slit to sew template. And um, Kelly's going to teach us how to do that. So, hi, how are hi. you, Kelly? So hi, glad Candace. that you popped by. Thanks. So, like I said, Kelly's from uh, Quilters Paradise, and they are right down the road. Yep, just across the 78 there. And they cut a lot of our quilts and fabrics. And uh, you could do all kinds of stuff over there. Oh, we do. Yeah, we do it all pretty much, you know, other than sewing, sewing fabric. <laughs> and we, yeah, we don't do much in the sewing <laughs> side of the house. They don't sew or sell fabric, but they cut it all. Yes, <laughs> for, we do. And you send stuff all across the country. We do. We do. Mm -hmm. um, we've got uh, pretty much coast to coast and we're even through our slit and sew templates, we're even going overseas. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. Now, I know you also do some YouTube videos, right? I do, On how yeah. to use these. So if you can't come to our class, maybe they can find you on YouTube. Oh, if yeah. They, they can go on our web, website, mm -hmm. which is um, culturesparadiseesc.com. Um, we have videos there. And then we also have it on our Facebook page. So most so, of them are myself. Yeah, you'll see Kelly. Yep. And so Quilters Paradise, E-S-C dot com. And so they have these really cool um, templates. I'll take one out real quick so you can see what it is. So it's a curve. Yes. And it's got these little slits that you use for your rotary cutter, right? When you're cutting or snips. Yeah. I guess you can use You scissors. can use snips too. Yep. And so this really does the job of being able to make a curve. Yeah. It makes, um, you're instead of sewing at in a curve, you actually sew straight. Oh, and by cool. lining up the slits on your two pieces, mm -hmm. you get a start to finish perfect matchup. So you're not having to do any of the squaring up, mm -hmm. you know, making it all perfect. And you also don't use any pins. Oh, I like that. I'm doing this. Yeah. No pins. No pins were made, were used in making this quilt. Very nice. Yes. So I know so many people, like I said, even our professional quilters out here, they're like, I stay away from circles. I stay away from curves because yeah. they're difficult. Yeah. Right. I, I've been mm -hmm. quilting for about 20 years and I mm -hmm. have done very few quilts that involve curved piecing because it terrified mm -hmm. me. And, um, when they broached the subject of me testing these and making samples, I was like, mm, not too sure. I love these. Mm -hmm. I, it's the only thing I would use for doing curb piecing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it enables you mm -hmm. to do a double wedding ring, which for most people scares you to mm -hmm. death. That's and like the epitome, right? Yeah. Like the upper You level. admire them, <laughs> but you were like, I would okay. never do them. With our slit and sew method, mm -hmm you can do that and you don't need to be an experienced mm -hmm. quilter to do that. So I don't think we have these on our website yet, but we're going to be getting them on our website. But if somebody wants to buy this now, like you want to buy it now, I got to take this home now. They can get this from you directly. Yes, they can. Mm -hmm. They can. With, and I know we have some in the mm -hmm. store. We actually. brought some brought in. Some so in. if you're local, you guys come in and you can grab them. They are called cut right. Mm -hmm. C U T R I T E cut right slit and sew template. So there's a couple different ones. Like this is the eight inch drunkers path. This is an eight inch uh, finished one. So there's several different ones to choose from. Yeah. And in most of ours, not all, but a lot of ours, we have multiple sizes. So you could do a six inch, you could do a four inch drunkards path. Mm -hmm. um, we have the same uh, different sizes when it, we do melons, which mm -hmm. are, they make beautiful quilts. But again, it's that curved piecing. 
um, oh, of course. And I love this. This turned out so good. It did. The this, quilting. The quilting's was amazing. amazing on this. Lynn quilted this. Yes. There's these eagles right here. I know you can't see that, but it just turned Take out. Take it from us. It's so beautiful. Good. <laughs> and then my contribution. I added the stars in the middle. Yes, she did. <laughs> Those were raw edge applique that yes. I did for you, and it just it, it turned out so pretty. So we we have a class on this. If you're local, it is May. Seventh, sixth, sixth, fourth. <laughs> there you go. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's the seventh. It you is the right. seventh. So the seventh is here in San Marcos, and then in June the fourth, yes, is in San Diego. Right. So that's why we didn't know the dates because we have two classes. classes. So you know, if you're local, you want to do this class. Like I said, if you're close enough, that's a perfect time for a road trip, right? Oh yeah. June, to come down to San Diego, um, or next month, come and see us. If you want to, you know, do this project, like I said, kind of the idea today is finding the right tool for the job, right? right? These sewing with knits, those are difficult, but if you have the right tool, you can make it happen. You can make it look professional. Same thing with a quilt. If you've got the right tools, yeah. it makes it fast and easy and it looks amazing. And literally, I think, I believe the class is four hours long, right? Mm -hmm. You will pretty much have this completed by the time the class is over so you'll get to walk away with a substantial portion of it if it it's if done. not completely done and mm. then you're gonna have to quilt it yourself yes um but you know that's that's okay <laughs> i'm doing my very first quilt in the hoop with Ooh. my embroidery machine using uh, kimberbell's clear blue tile so i'm super oh, excited it's so easy to use my embroidery machine to quilt. So you'll find out a lot about that on Hoop Fest if you're if you're not familiar with that, familiar with that. So yes, Linda road trip. Absolutely. You guys come and see us. So um I want to thank Marina. You can come back over here and say and 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 wave. <laughs> so Marina's our amazing sewing embroidery surging teacher and um <laughs> extraordinaire and Kelly thank you so much for oh, stopping by for having me she's awesome. brand new to our uh, repertoire of teachers so we're thrilled to have some of the best I'm excited. and you can find her online um, if you're not able to come and hang out with us uh, yeah. but if you are definitely hang out with us so thank you guys so much for watching we are gonna now do the favorite part of your show some giveaways Ooh, all right so you can hang out with me so, hey, Roger, what do we have to give away today? I think the first thing we'll give away is tote bags. Tote bags. Ooh. Awesome. I have so many of these now. <laughs> these are my absolute favorite bags. My favorite pink one. You like the pink, pink one? one? The pink I one. Got the orange. I, I love the orange, too. I orange. Yeah, I love them all because um, I do have baggage. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? And it's, <laughs> but mine's full of fabric. So who is our winner of our batch of bags? So we have a, a spinning the wheel. I don't know if we have our. Okay, there it goes. We need our sound system. <laughs> yeah, we need, we need something. Okay, Margine. Yay. So, Margine, awesome. If you see your name, go ahead and chime in in chat. Let us know that you saw your name, and you're going to send us an email to contest with an S at sewingmachinesplus.com. And you'll send us an email, let us know your address, say, hey, I was a big winner. I won the bag of bags, and we will get those shipped out to you. So, congratulations, Margine. So let's see what is our next giveaway. Uh, we're giving away two sets of bags. Oh, another set of bags. Okay. You guys are lucky. Like I said, I give these bags to everyone. My daughter's got them. I, like, I carry all my projects in them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes you can store different projects in them yes. to make them easy access. Yeah, I'm like, this Something color lost. is for this one, yeah. that color. Yeah. So who's our next winner? I know. We need a. We need a. Uh, they were supposed to have some sound. It's okay. Me. Robbie Lynn. Oh, congratulations! All right, Robbie Lynn. 
congratulations. You're the winner of our second set of bag of bags. There's seven of them, right? There's seven. Seven of them. Yeah, I think so. Like, How no, many bags do we seven. have? Seven. I think there's six or seven. Six or seven, yeah. I think we we need to add some more colors, don't you think? Eight. Oh, eight. oh we were all What a deal. missed one. What a deal. <laughs> so congratulations. Send us an email to contest at sewingmachinesplus.com. And make sure, you know, like, like we said in the beginning, to like and share this video, and that helps your chances of winning. So this is a mat. You are not winning them all. You get one, <laughs> but you get a choice. So you see these beautiful colors we have, um, and uh, you're going to let us know which color you want um, in your sewing room. So let's see who is our winner. <laughs> You're a little She's very good at that. She's good at that. Yeah, we okay, should just next record her. Again, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I did my role. All right, Valoria, congratulations. Winner, winner. That is a great prize. You're going to love these mats. I actually want to put one for my laptop and my it's like the nicest mouse pad you'll ever buy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oversized. <laughs> But it's so fantastic for your machines, for your computer. Why I like this mat? Because I can actually put my pins. Yeah, you can put your pins in there too. And it doesn't yeah. destroy the mat at all. So yeah. I've done I, it many times. I've done that too. Many times. times. Yeah. So, um, Valora, Valoria, I'm, I'm bad like Blaine, right, with names. Send us an email to contest at soymachinesplus.com and send us your address. Let us know that you won our mat and then tell us which color you want. So there's beautiful colors to choose from. So let us know which one you want and we'll get that shipped out to you. Okay. So what is the next fun giveaway? He's got all kinds of good stuff. Okay. Another set of mats. Well, we got all kinds of goodies on this show. This is Blaine's show. That's why he's, yeah, he, he loves, loves to give away. <laughs> he likes to make people smile. He does. Okay. Mary. Mary Partlow, congratulations. You won also a fabulous sewing mat. So let us know which color you want and send us your um, address in an email and we'll get that shipped out to you. So congratulations, Mary. So I don't know if any of them have chimed in. I can't see that information. Uh, let's see. Let's I don't, see. I don't know. Don't know. Uh, but usually they'll just contact us. Yeah, contact us directly and we'll definitely get that shipped out to you. Okay, what else do we have? So we have last week's giveaway. We were giving away an Aliso. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. so this is last week's giveaway. Um, as we do with every show, we give you the chance to watch our show at a later time. And as, as long as you still chat and chime and share, your name will be entered to win from um, last show, like we'll do for this show. So who's the winner of the Oliso? You are lucky. I gotta start commenting and you stuff gotta, on these yeah. Facebook lives. <laughs> I want one of those. These have been, we haven't been able to get this for like two yeah. years. Oh, really? These oh. are amazing. They've got the magic feet. I absolutely love this, my favorite uh, iron. Um, but like I said, we couldn't get them during, um, the, the craziness yeah. of the pandemic. So they finally came back in stock. Um, so if you're looking for one and you've been waiting forever, look online, see what we got or come into our store. So who's our winner? Joyce Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer. from YouTube. All right. Ooh. Joyce from YouTube. Oh, lucky girl. Lucky, lucky. This is the Oliso, um, and you are the winner from our last show. So if you are on this show, go ahead and um, chime in. Let us know that you saw your name and uh, send us an email to contest at sewingmachinesplus.com to claim your prize, and we will get that shipped right out to you. All right, so Roger's totally in charge at this point. So what else we got going on, Roger? Uh, so next week. We will be giving away mm -hmm. an Ava dress form. So tune in. Oh, fabulous. Oh. All right. So this is how we do that. Uh, if you watch the show, no matter what time or day you watch it, 
Um, go ahead and still comment. Uh, nobody's going to answer you, but that's okay. Go ahead and comment <laughs> and share and like, and your name will be entered to win one of these fabulous dress forms. You'll let us know which size you want, and we will announce the winner on next week's show. So what do we got going next week? Roger, do we know yet? We are not sure yet. Blaine will be back. Yeah, Blaine will mm -hmm. be back. And we'll have something special, of course. Yeah, we'll have something special. Maybe he'll let us know some fun things he got from his big convention mm. he's at right yeah. now. So um, definitely tune in every Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we will see you guys next week. So Yay. thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a great week. Bye. 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 <laughs> All right, done, done. Awesome. Ready?